Thank you. Thank you, Tycon, for inviting me to talk with you all. <coughs> entrepreneurship, as I define, is little different. When you talk about entrepreneurship, it is not only about business or money or companies. It is all about profession, about political entrepreneurship or social entrepreneurship. You have to have a large uh, definition about entrepreneurship whereby how you are individually able to affect the larger mass of the people. That is entrepreneurship in a good way. Now, one more thing I want to tell you, that it is all about how you respond to crisis and the need. Our religion makes us little down when it comes to need. If you have two rotis, Everybody will say, pray God that you have two rotis, be happy about it. If you have one roti, again the world will say, and religion will say, okay, at least this much is given by God. Will I not fight for, why not I have sabji with two rotis? Similarly, in crisis, our social system, our family, our loved ones make you timid. So how you respond to your need and your crisis is very, very important. That's, would, that's what would make you an entrepreneur. Now, in short, I will tell you about what I have done in my life. I did my MS Orthopedics from Civil Hospital and Bija Medical College, Ahmedabad. And while I was doing that, I told one of my teachers that, uh, you know, number of uh, books are taught. Full books are talking about joint replacement, arthroscopy and all those surgeries and we are not doing it. So I was just put down by everybody that, you know, with those things you can't sit on the floor, you can't use Indian toilet, so they are not meant for us, they are meant for foreigners. So I asked my teacher that, do you eat on the floor? Do you use Indian toilet? We have at least 20 crore population who is not living the way we people are living in the villages. So at least for them we need to do something. Because I had my own grandmother who was lying in the bed since 1974 to 1994 just because of severe osteoarthritis of knees. And every time various orthopedic surgeons were visited, she was given tablet and she was not operated. And she had a life like total curse. Having said this, after finishing my orthopedics here in India, I went to UK, spent three years there in one of the largest institute for joint replacement surgeries in Wrightington. Then went to USA, spent there two years. <clears throat> I learned whatever I wanted to learn. From my wife to f my entire family wanted me to stay back. I wanted to come back. The reason was the system, processes and organizations were set. There is nothing more you can contribute there. You become part of system. You are a part of that system in a form of either nut or a bolt. You make good money, you, you move in a good car, but you can't change anything. So that was not acceptable to me. So I thought I will go back. I came back here. I did not have much money. I, from, I was from a middle class family. Went to few corporate hospitals. Nobody was interested in orthopedics. Everybody were interested in cardiology and cardiac surgery. So nobody was really ready to put up class 100 operation theater, buy equipment, anything. So I decided that I will put up my own nursing home because that is what all amount I had. So I started with six bed hospital near Vijay Crossroads. And as Darshan Bhai said that there was question, there was simple answer and we were able to produce result and even though sitting in Ahmedabad we had been treating patients from Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai and from America and Africa. Within 10 years time we became well known 
नेम इन ऑर्थोपेडिक्स एंड जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट वर्ल्ड ओवर विद इन ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी बिकेम नंबर वन इन द होल वर्ल्ड वी डू लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ नी रिप्लेसमेंट एंड हिप रिप्लेसमेंट इन एंटायर वर्ल्ड सो फ्रॉम एंड यू नो विथ सिक्स बेड्स इन द सेम बिल्डिंग वी ग्रू अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स बेड्स एंड देन देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम because no vacancy there were a lot of patient to be treated one of my old teacher when i th started thinking about building a hosp another hospital he said gada manas dudh piyu hoy to bhais na bandhay dudh male che bazar ma so i started going to several corporate hospitals i was visiting two three hospitals but then at one day i was tired that uh, nobody was interested in orthopedics everybody were interested in cardiology only again at that time and i was not getting the way i want to treat my patient because i always treat my patient very differently not only surgically but mentally also so we built a second hospital and while we built a second hospital i wanted to hedge it against my own life or my own work because if i am ill or i am not available the hospital who will pay for the people because now it is going to be 400 500 employees so i made multi specialty hospital it was never in a mind that i would get into this business and uh, within 2 years the hospital was full and uh, things were uh, anki dori that uh, you know things are working well so we decided to put up few more hospitals and uh, at the same time i was talking to my son that what he wants to do he said i don't want to become doctor so i was very happy because then because then i, I can have 100 sons to whom i can teach i will not be selfish so then i started putting up hospitals in every corner of the country from chandigarh to goa and from jabalpur to rajkot and uh, now we have 2000 beds he is taking care of the management i am happily doing my surgeries and uh, things are doing very well we had been growing 25% per annum for last 30 years and we will continue to grow the same way at the same time investing in real estate was hampering our growth because i can prepare more more surgeons but to invest in real estate is slowing down the entire company so we have come up with the soc that is shelby orthopedic center of excellence by which we don't invest in real estate but we just uh, get the asset run it and do the revenue sharing like mcdonalds we have already started one center in uh, udaipur we have signed up one in rajkot one in gwalior one in lucknow next month we are starting in lucknow we are going to roll out 50 such units in like, coming 5 years so we will be adding 2000 beds by without investing any money in real estate so that is what we are doing for coming 5 years further to this there was a big challenge in getting imported implants because number one they were always saying that there is less margin in india so we are not able to make enough money so logistically it is not possible for us to supply and we need huge supply because we are as we say this today we do 15000 joints per year in our company that is highest in the world by any standard next is hospital for special surgery in new york doing about 6000 surgeries so they are not able to supply and they are not interested so then again it was a need and a crisis both that we decided that we'll buy out one company in usa and get the patents we got 50 patents we bought up over consensus orthopedics company in el dorado hills uh, california we have got now 50 patents we are now going to manufacture in india under our beloved modi saab's program of make in india and we are going to supply to all over world and that american company will continue to supply india and other places thank you yeah thank you vikram bhai 
basically again uh, gives us a message that even if you are alone but you have ideas and commitment you can go forward with your first love that is love of labor and you have done it very well creating 2000 beds by now now to 2000 more with a new concept ke jema apne kehvat chhe ne ke musa bhai na va ne pani ane aakhi naat jamadi so anyway thank you vikram bhai uh, vikram bhai one of the typical uh, challenge for healthcare services because when you talk about uh, you know healthcare services it has got three important parameters one is competence which is very much important because it has to provide short short healthcare support for an individual who is coming with a very critical condition of their life second is uh, you know what uh, uh, mr narayan murthy also mentioned that is about values and the third thing is that those services are to be made available through the entire infrastructure you know the administration part to people in a manner whereby it becomes, uh, you know, uh, affordable at the end of the day for a larger base of the community. So what is your view on that? Well, it is very important and, uh, you know, uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Modi has already done that. You know, 10 years back it was really a challenge, but now with Ayushman, uh, he has uh, taken care of the bottom of the pyramid in a very nice way and uh, patients are getting treatment the way they want in most of the hospitals. Uh, about 80% of the hospitals are enlisted with Ayushman and those poor people are able to get right kind of treatment. <coughs> Having said this, uh, you know, number of time uh, people come and talk about uh, America and Europe, uh, that, you know, there every citizen is getting the same treatment. And I tell them that in plane or a train in those countries, there are only two classes, first class and the second class. In India, we have five types of trains with five classes between Ahmedabad and Mumbai. So there are 25 fares, same track, same journey, and there are 25 fares. So, the reality is that we have more than 10, 15 classes in our country, whether we like it or we don't like it. It is the reality. And the need of every class is different. The top class coming to hospital wants five course lunch and five course dinner. The poorest of the poor wants good treatment, but he can go and buy food from outside. There is no problem, as long as he's getting treatment. So things are different in our country, and we cannot put our country in the same line with the Western countries. We are different, and we have to solve our problems differently. Lastly, this is a friendly advice to all of you, that at the end of the day, when you achieve something in life, even best of that entrepreneur would say, you know, I have money, I am happy. But I would suggest one sentence, never accept status quo. Thank you. Great, great Vikram Bhai. Vikram Bhai, what you would like to be known in your healthcare industry? In healthcare industry, I don't want to be known as entrepreneur. I want to be known as the finest surgeon because that is what I have achieved in my life and that is what I want other professionals to achieve. And last thing I would like to say about uh, myself that I would work till I leave and to all of you, if you feel tired during your own work, that means you don't like your work enough. Thank you. Great. I mean, we were uh, chatting on the backside, and he told us that while his son's marriage in Jaipur, he also lined up some surgeries over there. So we understand your sentiments, your, your views. So we had a fantastic session, friends. And uh, let me sum up uh, with a note that you never know 
what heights you can soar unless you spray your wings and try to fly. जो बोलते हैं कि सोच बदलो सितारे बदल जाएंगे नजर बदलो नजारे बदल जाएंगे कश्तियां बदलो किनारे बदल जाएंगे विद दैट नोट साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू वेरी मच